At the end of the 12th century, the Third Crusade was successful in defending the small Crusader states, but it failed to take Jerusalem. During this crusade, the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick Barbarossa, died, but in 1197, his son, Henry VI, launched the Empress Crusade. Although it was small in comparison, this crusade conquered important coastal cities like Sedan, Beirut and Tripoli. Then, two years later, in 1199, knights at a jousting tournament agreed to heed the Pope's call for another crusade. But under Count Theobald III and Baldwin IX of Flanders, the Crusaders devised a new plan. Instead of striking the Levant, they intended to invade Egypt, the seat of the Ayyubid dynasty. So they asked Venice, the major Mediterranean naval power, for help in transporting troops. The Venetian doge Enrico Dandolo agreed and started building ships to transport over 30,000 Crusaders. However, the Crusaders, now under Boniface of Montferrat, could only muster together 10,000 soldiers, so they refused to pay the full price for the construction of the ships. The Venetians agreed to drop the debt if the Crusaders helped take Zara, a former Venetian city now under the protection of Hungary and Croatia, two Catholic nations. Although some refused to fight fellow Catholics, most agreed, and in November 1202, they captured the city, but this got Venice excommunicated. Meanwhile, in the Byzantine Empire back in 1195, Alexios III ousted his brother Isaac II. Isaac's son, who was also named Alexios, managed to escape from prison and meet with Boniface of Montferrat, and he persuaded him to briefly call him to Constantinople and restore him to the throne. For the Crusaders, this would secure an alliance with the Byzantine Empire, which had provided little assistance to the Crusaders in previous decades, plus Venice was promised money. So in the spring of 1203, Baldwin and Boniface arrived on the Asian side of the Bosphorus. The Byzantine navy was unable to stop them doing so because their ships had been sold off by a corrupt admiral of the fleet. But Constantinople was surrounded by formidable walls and a chain across the Golden Horn blocked enemy ship movement. A Venetian ship, however, in early July was able to break the chain across the Horn and the Crusaders fought their way onto the coast near the Tower of Galata. They presented Alexius to the civilians on board a ship, hoping to inspire a rebellion but he was poorly received by the citizens of the city. So on the 17th of July, the Crusaders launched their assault. The Venetians used their ships as siege engines and attacked the smaller harbour walls, while the Crusaders tried to take the north of the city on land. The Finns were driven back by the Byzantine elite Varangian guard and their Pisan allies, but the Venetians, who had taken a few towers, managed to come to the aid of the Crusaders. They therefore failed to take the city, but the Empress still decided to flee. With no emperor, the Byzantine nobles decided to reinstall Isaac II and the young Alexius as co-emperors. But the empire was bankrupt and Alexius couldn't repay the Crusaders, so the Crusaders waited in Constantinople until they were paid. They soon began to fight with the locals, however, and as the fighting escalated, an advisor named Mortsophilus led a palace coup, imprisoned Alexius IV, and crowned himself Alexius V in early 1204. He set about trying to oust the Crusaders, so locked the city gates, reinforced his defences, and unsuccessfully tried to destroy the Venetian navy by sending a fire ship towards their fleet. He then led an army to attack the Crusaders who were raiding a town near Philia, but his forces were defeated. The Crusaders displayed a captured Byzantine relic on board their ship outside the city in order to inspire the people to turn against their defeated emperor. So fearing a palace coup, Mortzophilus had Alexius IV killed. But now the Crusaders had no Byzantine allies, so planned to divide up the empire. In April 1204, they attacked the city again, and this time both the Crusaders and the Venetians attacked the harbour walls, but the new defences stopped them. They tried again a couple days later, and thanks to the wind pushing them up against the walls, they captured the harbour towers. Mortsophilus quickly fled Constantinople, allowing the Crusaders to sack the city and steal a great amount of wealth and art. The Byzantine Empire was then divided up. Venice acquired a large chunk of territory, including Crete, Baldwin became the emperor of the Latin Empire, Boniface became king of Thessalonica, southern Greece was divided up into a number of duchies, and the Duchy of Philopolis was created in the north. And only three states were ruled by Greeks, Epirus, the Empire of Nicaea, and Trebizond. Although the Latin rulers managed to quell some uprisings, they had to immediately deal with wars in the north against the Bulgarian Empire. 